Oops, sorry about that. What's up, guys? What is good? Oh, what's up, everyone? How are you guys? How was everybody's weekend so far? I'm a variety streamer, Spectacular Poo here, known for a nice variety of content, such as, you know, sports, like I'm about to do now. Such as, you know, fighting games like Smash Brothers or racing games like Mario Kart and uh, Need for Speed. Or action-adventure games like Monster Hunter, which is going to be coming up soon. So, um, I hope all of you guys have been enjoying your weekend. I hope everyone has had, had themselves a good Saturday and so far a good Sunday. So, nice to see everybody that decided to come by, that decided to chill out, decided to watch some football with me. Because y'all know usually I don't do streams on Sundays. Y'all know that. But, seeing as right now we have absolutely nothing to do on the Sunday to fill that spot, I decided I'm going to fill that spot by playing some old, you know, some nice old football games. So, how am I going to do it is I'm going to start with NCAA Football 2007 for this week. Now, next week is going to get interesting. Now, I have not worked on a schedule for next week, but I am going to actually adjust it live. I'm going to show you all live of how I do my schedules so then you guys can see exactly what I have planned. I already got it in mind. I already got it in motion. I just haven't, like, showed you guys yet, if that makes any sense. So, yeah, if any of you guys that's here, you, you know, you're down for seeing some NCAA football, then that's what we're going to do. So, I'm going to do the Washington Huskies. That was the team I picked out randomly. Um, I really, I was really hoping I was going to get myself a good team. And honestly, this is a solid team. I can tell you that right now. Like, they're a four-star program, four-star, uh, they're four stars on basically everything. So, that I can work with. If they was, like, two or three stars, then it'd be like, eh, it'd be a bit of an issue. E but a seeing sport. as... It's in the game. Uh, I wouldn't say a bit of an issue, more like it'd be an issue in a sense where you're trying to build them up. Oops, almost forgot one more thing. I forgot to, you know, the usual thing. You know, I got to plug my controller because you know how the PCSX2 is. Because for me, I'm used to it with any other system, any other, uh, I'm sorry, yeah, any other uh, emulator that I use. Whereas you can just simply plug it in and it'll automatically d detect it and then you could just use it from there. But with the PCSX2 emulator, it's a bit different. I don't know why I'm always making this mistake. Sooner or later, I'm going to break out of this mistake. I don't know when, but it's going to happen. Good thing for me, though, I had a save state already in mind. Uh, this is the save state from when I was uh, playing initially. Because I wasn't sure if I was going to go through with it or not. But that's what we're going to do. We're going to go through with this. You know, I'm, I'm going to go through with this. Alright, so let me actually pull the game up here for you guys. I know you guys hear the music. Okay. There we go. I don't know why the PCSX2 does this to where you won't be able to hear... Them, so you won't be able to see it like off the bat. You gotta do it manually, but... That can be worked on. You know, I'm not sweating that too much. So yeah, for everybody, I hope you guys enjoy yourself. I hope everyone's had themselves a continue to have themselves a good weekend well after this is over. Let me actually refresh a couple things here. Because Cameo Labs decided to go ahead and do this every time I get on, so once I'm done with that, then we can get it going. Okay. All right. So this is our schedule. Our schedule is we are up against Notre Dame, we are up against Oklahoma, and we are up against Georgia. The first three weeks, and they're all on the road. That's going to be probably the toughest schedule we're going to get yet. And our first home game is going to be up against UCLA. So we got a pretty interesting schedule ahead of us. So how am I going to do this? Actually, no. I'm going to do this the usual way I would do it. Let's actually get started right now. Good again. Good thing for me, I had a safe state in mind because there was at one point I'm like, you know, I don't feel like, like I was facing Notre Dame earlier, but it was early in the first half, so, and I was actually up in the lead, but I'm like, nah, I'm gonna start from scratch. 
Uh, I'm gonna go back to my usual playbook that I would have. I don't know if you can create a playbook in this game. Let me actually see. If you can't create one, that's fine. I'm not worried about that. Oh, you can create a playbook. Cool. Um, I'm gonna actually change up my playbook because I actually used Washington playbooks that first half to see what I was gonna get myself into, and I really do not like their playbook at all. I don't know why they have a playbook like this when they have a running quarterback. They have a very good quarterback. I'm going to show you their quarterback before we actually get started. I mean, that's coach options. There you go. Now I know where to go from here. Look at this dude. This dude is, is a threat when, it, when you're doing like read options or something like that. And of course, we've got the, the, we've got the junior right here. He's going to be taking over very soon. Oh, okay, never mind. We actually got a uh, quarterback here. That's at 82 speed. That's not bad. Let's look at his so. That's not bad. I can make it work with him in the future. I need to redshirt him, though. That way I can get an extra year out of him. Um, I don't know why they have this many quarterbacks on the roster. There's no reason for it at all. It's kind of unnecessary. So how am I going to do it is I'm going to stick with him for a year. I'm going to go with him, but I'm going to redshirt this dude because I'm going to use him the, the, the third year, the following year. So that's how I'm going to do it. So... I think that's it. I really do not like these wide receivers at all. Now, unless one of them got potential early on, which they all don't. They're all seniors and juniors. I need to look to get some new guys here at the wide receiver position. Sophomore. Okay, he's good for another for another two years. That's good with me. That's the only thing that kind of sucks with me. I mean, I love NCAA. God damn, why do you have two kickers at 84? Oh, never mind. That, that'll actually be worth it later on because I'm going to take him and convert him over. <laughs> so, that's fine. Um, the only thing that sucks with this for me, and I love NCAA football. We already noticed it. But, you know, it's typical shit where, you know, you get four years out of the guys and you really got to make good use of them before they either graduate or go to the NFL. Oh, and by the way, speaking of that, I will be doing Madden NFL 2007 at some point. I don't know when. But I'm probably going to do it at some point the, the following uh, year when there's no NFL season involved. That's when I will probably do it. So, wherever we left off from here, it's going to be up in history. And then, you know, I'll come back to this when it's ready. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the usual playbook that I would have, which is the Eastern Michigan playbook. It's my favorite playbook in the game. We're going to see how it works. In this game compared to how it did in NCAA 2008. Now for people that don't know why did I give up on NCAA 2008. It's pretty simple. It's because the pursuit angles of that game is pretty damn terrible. There's too many times and you guys have seen it yourself. Too many times where I was sitting up there and I was getting pump returns for a touchdown. Because some guy decided to take the wrong angle completely. Instead of taking the correct one. That they should have done. So... That's why I'm switching over to this game to see how the pursuit angles and see how everything else works from there. Now, I mean, I'm going to lose a little bit. I'm going to lose the highlight stick, which was... I feel like, in a way, the highlight stick was a bit of a crutch. So, I'm happy to actually lose that because I want to be able to use my juke moves and my spin moves more often. Because I feel like because of 2008, you don't use them as much. Hey, football fans. Brad Nessler here with my partners in crime, Lee Corso. So, and you got to lose something to get something. Clear skies and just beautiful weather here for tonight's game between the Washington Huskies and the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame. Sorry about that, guys. I'm kind of eating some cereal here because here, I folks, it's really like of the college football season. I'll be honest. The minute I found out, be like, oh shit, this game is a, like basically a 4:30 game. I'm like, okay, then let me get myself an extra couple hours of sleep. And that was exactly what I did. So, Kirk, this team is just too powerful. Notre Dame will win this football game on the legs of their running back. He's got that rare combination of power and speed. Look for the offensive line to overpower him up front, and he'll have a big game running the football. I gotta go with the favorite in this one. I'm picking Fighting Irish. I'm happy for uh. Anyway, let's send it down to the field. I'm happy for announcers that sit up there and actually sit up there and pick the home team to win because it makes me fight that much more just to get these W's. You know what I mean? 
it makes me work just as hard to get the W's I realized that my chat box was not on. It is now. It's a good thing I noticed it before I started. Mayfield takes it from the six. Now let's see what kind of success this offense can have as they come out onto the field for the first time today. Make sure to have anything else on. I do have Discord on. I'm probably going to turn Discord off because Discord kind of runs up some memory when it shouldn't. I'll come back to it at another time. This secondary's been waiting all week long to go up against this very skilled quarterback. How do you think they'll match up today? This kid is a great player. And I think as long as he doesn't try to force things too much, he's going to have a great game. This defense is going to have to he didn't catch that. Kinds of looks today. He did not. What? They called that a completed pass. Where? It's complete. That's completely. That's very much incomplete. But here's the thing, though. We only got one challenge, so I'm not going to burn it on that. On top of that, it's early in the game. You might as well let them have it. Fuck it. That's still some bullshit coming from the rest. They already out here rigging. Oh, you got to pick that off, bro. Both of y'all got to pick that off. Makes a poor decision throwing into coverage. Needs to look at his progression and find the second and third receiver. Yeah, I ain't gonna sweat it. I ain't gonna sweat it. If, if, if my defense does their job, then it's fine. Oh, I also lose the defensive adjustments that I would usually get where I can highlight a cornerback and tell him to go man to man. Yeah, I kind of lose that too. It kind of sucks. I'm not gonna get it. Oh! God, right off the fingers. Oh. Right over his hands. I should have swatted it down. That's what I should have did. I knew that was way out of reach for Day to sit up there and try to catch. Washington lines up with five defensive backs. Ratliff gets the call. And they make the stop at the 47. Six-yard pickup. Shouldn't have been a six-yard pickup, though. If I didn't get bumped like I did. That was good blocking, though. I mean, it was just enough. Just a piece of me was enough to make it so that he gets a big game. Ooh, that's a face man. shoved out of bounds at the 47-yard line. And Oof. they threw a flag on that play. Not a good drive for the defense at all. I don't know why I did that face mask. I tried to go for a strip when I had no business going for it. Gosh, giving up penalty yards is so frustrating, isn't it? First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 32. They come out on an empty backfield. Parker drops back on first down. It's nice. We need to get some pressure on this quarterback. But his strength is zone cover. So he just sticks out his hand and says, not so fast, my friend. Second, and second down and 10 to go. On the 32-yard line. Yeah. Washington puts six DBs on the field to counter this five-receiver look. Parker oh, I mean, do that. Looking, lets it fly. Fight. Wilson All right, that's fine. At the he didn't get as much as I thought he would. Uh, yeah, he got he as much as, as I there. figured he would get, but I'm thinking, oh, shit, he's close to the first down the here. Was able to get the ball for a good pickup. Ball High formation here. I feel like a run is coming here. Let me bring my safety up just a little bit. Back to throw. He's looking. He lets it go. Nope. Incomplete. Let's go. Out of that end zone. I'll settle for a field goal. That, that, that's a win in my book. Unless if we can block it. Notre Dame is looking to go up by three. He gets it ah, yeah, they got it. And it's right down the middle. Of course, you know, you want them to block it, but it is what it is. Yeah, that one looks like cake for this kid. They're going to take three. three points for the offense. Notre Dame to kick this one off. One thing I don't like about NCAA 2007, though, is the fact that you cannot change out of the uh, return camera. You're stuck with that throughout the whole time. There's nothing you can do to change that. Very, very disappointing. Okay. It looks like Eastern Michigan's playbook is very different compared to what it would usually be. 
Now I need to look for a playbook that actually uses two tight ends because that's something I really love doing. Oh my God! Which team are we rooting for? I'm pretty neutral because we're cool uh, sports teams. Um, Malfasune, welcome. Um, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm doing the Washington Huskies. So you see this team in purple. This team in purple is who I am controlling. So that's the team we're rooting for. To hopefully we can get some some W's against some very very tough teams. I'm up against Notre Dame right now. He's looking deep down the left side. There you go. He got it. And he's all the way down That's the team to the we're, we're yard line. rooting for. That'll get some good yardage for the receiver. This kid is one heck of a wide out. He's the nice, guy good who catch. the ball to as much as you can because he can do things that make you say, whoa. Welcome, by the way. Welcome First from the 32 yard line. First down. Washington comes to the line with three wide. Pittman drops back. Oh, bad throw, Pittman. Jesus. I feel like if he caught it, he'd at least be able to get us a, a first and five. Purple. Val would be proud. Well, that's what we're rocking. That's, a, that's exactly what we're rocking, Choco. Welcome. Oh, my God. Terrible, terrible, terrible job. That didn't go anywhere. Yeah, I'll tell you why. No blocking at all. Guys will shoot through Hopefully the they can right into the improve on field. that. That play didn't have a chance. The Fighting Irish bring in their dive package. Pittman drops back, surveys the field. Fire. Oh, good defense. Just tough, tough defense. Yeah, Damn. He was just a split second quicker, and he could have picked that one off as well. I'd mix it up a little here. You don't want to be too predictable out there. Nah. This is what I'm doing is incredibly risky. Incredibly risky. I'm not supposed to be going for it right now. But I'm gonna take a shot. Pittman needs this pass. Rolling out to the right side. Pittman unload. And the wrist paid off. Let's go. Oh my god. The throw to the wide receiver goes. Jesus. What a pass! I think his father's taught him very well. Jesus, man. Oh, purple Bobby Proud. My hands and fingers hurt. I blame Crash Team Racing. What did you? Oh, what did you do on Crash Team Racing? Jesus, how how much were you dragging? Great pass indeed. Even just as much of a great catch. Like I can't believe it. Too close. He almost blocked that. He makes the PAT. With about three minutes to play remaining here in the first quarter, our score: Washington seven, Notre Dame three. If on fourth and thirteen, two no less. That was that was really great under pressure. That's how you make yourself a Heisman candidate over some over a situation like that. I'm getting Mario Karted in CTR. One lap, lap one blue shell from first item box. How? <laughs> oh my god. I am so sorry. Choco. Oh. They got me with that play fake. Oh, that should be intercepted. He threw it. He threw it where three. Uh, where three of my defenders were at. That should have been picked off. They I still need to impart my wisdom from the years of Mario Kart onto you, though. That's fine, Choco. You don't have to. The Fighting Irish. I'm not expecting you to do that uh, at all. Damn, what a throw. The shortcuts, the lines, the techniques. I don't mind the shortcuts, though. That I definitely don't mind. I'll take the shortcuts all day, every day, you know. This is a run play. Oh. Oh. Are they going for that? Wow. I cannot believe that was short of the sticks. I cannot believe it. 
Bryant is back to receive. Especially considering that should not have been shorter than sticks. I was trying to show you and Nigel the Rainbow Road shortcut. Oh, damn. I should have accepted Bryant that one. Takes it to 28. Now we see the offense come out of the field. And you know who's trembling right now? That defensive secondary. The secondary should be trembling after all the yards that they gave. Um, hold on. Let me do something with this uh, chat real quick. Sorry, guys. The the chat on the YouTube end it's gonna be very very small. You can't go as fast. You can't while steering. I'm gonna kind of capture speed. Yeah, I do. I did notice that for sure. Oh wow! What a run! I did definitely notice that. It kind of caps my speed for sure. I, I, I could be doing a little bit more than I usually would. Before I actually continue on, let me see if I can actually adjust this YouTube chat real quick. Oh, that's way too small. Jesus. Oof. Damn. Yeah, I'm going to do something with this. Hold on. This is what I'm going to have to do, and this really sucks. I'm going to have to limit a bit of the chat here so that we can be able to see some of this. I think it's good here. It is good here. Okay. So what I'm gonna do, since it's like that, um, every time I start, I'm gonna go ahead and have it so that my, um, the timer stuff they go off first. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have it so every time I start the timer stuff they go off first. That way I'll be able to properly see everything, and this won't be a problem anymore. But yeah, what you said was that it caps my speed. I definitely did notice that because it fu kind of fucks up my turning in a way. Like when you look back, it definitely does do that. So for me, it seems like I'm going to just have to learn how to turn properly. To learn how to turn, learn how to take certain stuff. Mizzou? Yeah, that's the short form uh, the M Missouri team. Missouri, uh, what is it called? The Missouri Wildcats? Some shit like that? Washington. Yeah, yeah, definitely that. I, I noticed it for sure. Washington comes out in the shotgun. Oh shit, this might be a bad time to do this. Don't you dare fumble the ball! Don't you dare fumble the ball! Okay, good, thank you. And your power slides, it makes it all wide. See, I prefer sharper turns, man, so inward drift bikes. Oh, okay, yeah. That was one of the bikes I think I remember using uh, in there, on there. I was like, wait a minute, what the hell is this bike? It felt like it was way too sharp for my for my like, for my my liking. What a pass. Oh, I was hoping he avoided. That's the first down right there. Yeah, if I was a defense, I think I would man up on these guys next time. And this quarterback is very good at recognizing zone coverage and then finally we'll see what they can do in the red zone. I'm liking this play. Rolls right. Surveys the field. Is that a touchdown? Yes it is. Let's go. Great pass. 
Yep, he waved his hand and said he was open. I'm like, I got you. Don't worry. I was looking right at the tight end, too, thinking, oh, shit, I might actually be able to get him here. 13-3. Nice. That's a good start against uh, against a home crowd like Notre Dame's because they don't fuck around when it goes to college football. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Over two minutes remaining in the first But I'm quarter. used to them because I made the mop bike on the Wii. That was an inward drift. It was all about speed. I DM'd you about the stat info. Apparently the Inklings are both medium, but they're slower than Luigi. Ah! Oh! So... Yeah, I'm gonna need to look at all of them. Thank you, though, for that DM. I can't check it right now, though, because uh, through... Uh, I could not... I can check it through the phone, but Discord through the uh, computer messes up. Oh, I'm sorry, I got it right here. It messes up through the emulator. So, Inkling girl slow to Inkling boy. Yeah, I'm fine with that. That's not my problem. I wonder why though. The halfback with a carry. He juked. He got a first down. Defense, it's all about instincts. It didn't look like their instincts worked too well on that play. <laughs> You're right, Lee. Thank you, I got it. Running room there. From their own 31 yard line. First down. Parker, back in the gun, steps up in the pocket, throws it, has it to the senior. Oh, he fumbled the ball. Hunter picks it up. He fumbled the ball. Let's go. They already needed a couple of scores to get back in this. Now a turnover? What else could go wrong? I need to find a cart customization site so I can link you to that so you can fit it with the builds and compare it to mine. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm down with it. Leaving a running back open. I'll take it. I'll take the free five yards if that's what you're willing to give me. If you're going to sit up here and leave this running back open, I will take it all day. Ball hesitating. They'll work from the shotgun. Oh, good throw! Let's go! Good throw! Jeez! What are you telling those kids on the sideline? Twenty-one to three. That was, and the crazy thing is, that wasn't even me that threw the ball. That was the computer because uh, apparently quick pass is on, and I don't know about it. I got your DM as well with that one. Thank you. For the point after. Nice. 21 to 3 against Notre Dame. And he adds the extra point. And now we'll take a look at the Pontiac drive summary. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. You really did bring me out of retirement. Oh, well, I'm happy I did, Chogo. Considering, you know, there's one game where I don't expect you to be mad at, and that's this game. And, that, and that's and that's this game with Mario Kart. Notre Dame lines up in a shotgun set. Parker back to throw. He passes it. Damn, good throw. I was hoping to bait him. I was really hoping to bait that cornerback, but I couldn't do it. I had to tweet it out too that I was streaming from there. I'm surprised I didn't do that. Second and four. Ball on the 24 yard line. Ratliff lines up in the deep back. I formation. Ratliff sweeps left. Damn, what a. He broke that tackle, too. I was hoping to get him. Didn't I say Mario Kart was one of my top three friendship breakers? That should make. That should say enough about how mad Mario Kart makes me. I mean, yeah. But. When it goes to playing with us, I don't expect you to be mad at this game. <laughs> I don't expect you to be too mad at Mario Kart because you pretty much be blowing us out of the water. They're lining up in the 5-2. Drops back to pass. Let's it fly. 
Oh, what a throw. They just took what the defense gave them on that play. Yeah, you're right. That was a good job of getting that pass completed for positive yards. They line up at the 36. It's second down and five to go. The defense sets up with five defensive linemen. Oh, he fumbled the ball again! They're, not, they're gonna get that one. No, we still got it! Let's go! That just red shell factory is on point though. That is facts. That man was getting red shells left and right everywhere. I lost count of the red shell barrage and all I got was useless coins. <laughs> oh my god. Washington lines up with three receivers. Uh, I should have stiff armed him. Two yard pickup. We're going to do some running. We're not going to risk it any more than what we already have by going up here. Now, granted, we're doing good with passing the ball, but I'm not trying to give Notre Dame any momentum. And we got a running quarterback, so I'm going to use him. Yeah, for me, I was not getting all that lucky. Now, part of it, you, you, from part of it for what you said, it was because of the fact that I had the auto steering on, but I was getting some pretty damn good drops. Like, I was getting, like, some mushrooms. I was getting, uh, I wasn't getting any blue shells, but I was getting some stars. Oh, my God, Hobbs, you got to make the catch. I can't blame Pittman on that. Pittman put it right where it had to be. Washington lines up in a shotgun. It seems like to me they're not going to guard the running back, so I might look to him. Oh, never mind. The safety's guarding him. <gasps> Terrible throw. This is why I was electing to start doing some running. Damn, he fucked his head up, though. My God. Terrible throw. Interception. You see, Mario Kart item drops at least in X. It's at least in eight deluxe. Is based on your distance from first place. Previous games is based on position. Oh, okay. I actually do like that. It was based on distance. I don't know if it was always like that though, where it was based on your position. Because it felt like you know there were plenty of times where I had chances to get back. Oh, previous games is based on position. Oh, okay, yeah. I actually do like it like that, to where it's based on how far are you from first place. I actually do quite like that. Oh, I tried to go for the interception. I got too greedy. I should have batted it down. I like those short passing routes. Here it's got them only a few yards, but this team has the playmakers that can. Yeah, I definitely do like that with the game. Into big game. Makes it more, makes it more like say, you know, yo, your your position is not safe. I keep getting hit with these face mask penalties, and it's not a good look. The question is, if it's one of the five or fifteen yard variety. When you start hit sticking people, that's what I need to start doing. So they'll move them back after the penalty. I bet that one has the fans steaming. Oh, that wasn't a very bright play by that young man. There were items locked to specific position, like the lower three or thirds could get lightning bolts. Yeah. I definitely didn't notice that. I didn't get any lightning bolts at all. Unless I was, like, all the way, like, in fourth, fifth, or sixth. That's where I was getting. Third seems to be the one position I can I get with the most, though. Well, that's because everybody else is, like, a computer or something. They line up at the 49. Second down. They come out with four wide out. He takes off. Oh, my linebacker got stuck. I was hoping to get him. Please answer this question for me. Where was the defense on that play? You can't let a pocket type quarterback run on your defense like that. There's no excuse for that kind of I was racing defense. hard CPU. Oh, then yeah, you was pretty much going through some shit with that. And he hits him hard at the 41 yard line. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. Second down and nine to go. Oh, fifth or six gets a pretty good item pool. Oh, okay, cool, cool. Fakes to the back. Looks, rolls to the right. Nope. I'm wondering what they're doing. That was too close. And this is the eighth play of the drive. The defense is in the nickel. 
Parker dropped back to pass. He's got a Let's go. That's a sack. We needed it. He gets sacked on the play. The protection just broke down there. I'll tell you though, Kirk, we needed that sack. Put pressure on that dude. Otherwise, this quarterback's gonna get drilled out there. Also, if I recall, only one player can carry the Super Horn at a we'll time. You might be right on that one, because I think I remember I carried the Super Horn, but nobody else carried it at, the, at a point. Uh, it, was it based on position again? Like, if so, then, uh, ooh, don't, don't get that. This one's gonna be down in the end zone for a there you go. Yeah, I think I remember I had it and nobody else really had it for a time being until I used it. They'll go to work at the 20 on the 20 yard line. The Huskies come out in the ace formation. I'm gonna go ahead and do some running here. And he's taken down at the 20 yard line. Back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Nah, it's rarest in first place, but first place can get it. Oh, okay, cool. The defense is in the nickel. Toss is short. There you go, fullback. Get the first down, fullback. A good play fake that time. Here, the play action was key. It held the linebackers there by the fake by the running back, and the running back did a very nice job of carrying out his fake. And the quarterback did a tremendous job of the fake handoff, too. Washington. So a strip that usually gets messed up by a lightning bolt is to grab in a lower position, then bring it up to first from your shield to shield yourself from blue shot. Oh, okay, cool. I didn't think something like that would work. back. There he goes. First down. And they were lucky that one didn't go for more. No question, and they were not ready for that option play. They had guys running everywhere except to the ball. Lee, you're right. They it's one of the only ways to dodge a blue shell. Right, that is one of the ways to dodge a blue shell is drop your position if possible. That or or have a specific item that can help you against it. He tries to spin. Brown with the tackle at the 49. The back gets three on the carry. I'm going to do some play action. I'm going to see how this will go. We're going to go ahead and force these dudes up. Let's see how this will go. We're going to take a shot with Ryan. Let's go. And it worked. Play action at its finest. Brought that safety up. Making them think, oh shit, we're going to run. And his hands are getting better every single game. Besides the one interception, we are killing Notre Dame. Let me check the difficulty, by the way. Okay, just making sure, because if it was any on anything less, I might I might have actually bumped that up. I wouldn't mind testing that though. Item, bullet bill, star, super horn. I haven't tested boo since boo makes you invisible. Invisible and invincible. Yeah, pretty much you're not touched for like a couple seconds. Which is not bad, you know, I'll definitely take that. Washington lines up for the kickoff. Cook and Mayfield back to return. He kicks it off. Mayfield passes the five. I don't know if you guys saw this, but the coach gave his offense quite a speech before he sent him out there. And let's not forget, they had some things clicking the last time out. He's probably just reminding them to... Yeah, I definitely wouldn't mind having to time. try that out and see how that'll go. Ooh, no. Almost went offside. Sets up in the eye. I'm wanting him to run again. Parker, off the fake. Parker, Damn, that was a good throw. Pretty much the only thing the defender had to do was just limit the yards because he was pretty much going to get that first down. He had him beat on the play. I'm going to try to get to this quarterback. His protection is doing pretty well. I never played a battle mode, but the Renegade Roundup and Bomb on Blast is one of my favorite modes. Oh, yeah, of course, anything with the Bomb on Blast, you know, we're going to have a problem. The Irish come out in the shotgun. Damn, I was going to say good stop. 
Ah, uh, he got the nice first down. By the tailback. Not a lot of razzle dazzle here, but it gets the job done and picks up the first down. This Anything else that I need to know about Mario Kart? So next time I won't, you know. Next time I'll be aware of. Parker, back to pass. Let's it fly. And that Drop that. Incomplete. That would have been a top catch for the wide receiver. I felt that coming too. Second, Second to down and ten to go. We're going to bring one of our linebackers up on the blitz so we can help provide that pressure. He's looking to pass. And as you can see, that pressure paid off. Renegade Roundup as well. Cops and robbers. Oh, okay. Sounds interesting. Set up in the gun. Nope. Get that out of there. Incomplete. Great job to get a finger on that pass and cause the incompletion. Hunter comes on the field, getting ready to send one off. Brian, back deep to return. He punts it. Damn, I was hoping for you to go somewhere. Ooh, we got an injured Notre Dame player again. What I'm going to do, I'm going to do the speed option from here. Let's see how to do this one. Half the players have caught piranha plants. The other half have our renegades plants captured the renegades and put them in jail. That do sound fun as hell. I ain't going to lie to you. At the 41 yard line, and he comes up with a nice run. That sounds nice fun. Run, but they kept him from getting out of bounds and stopping the clock. First and ten. We've got a first and ten. Ball 41 yard on their own 41. Damn, somebody got out with a stress fracture. That's, that's, comes out that of sucks. Hitman, back to throw. He gets oh, I had him. I had him. That's holding too, but I had him. These are the calls that drive a coach crazy. Senseless penalties can sometimes be the difference between winning. That's like a, that's not like a chaotic and fun game type though. And the more you, the more I see it, Jogo. Changing their play. Hitman drops back on first down. He's looking for his man. He got him again. Oh yes, he does. Let's go. Momentum is sky high right now. With that pass, they pick up another first down. I don't know what they were doing out of position. This offense is in pretty good rhythm right now. Yes. Ten yards to go on the 23-yard line. Hitman is back in the gun. Oh, this might be a touchdown. Oh! I was hoping to dive. I was ready. I was ready to dive. Damn, he's not fast enough. He's able to get into the open and create some excitement right there. First down and goal to go. Oh, man. If only he was fast enough. We're not going to go ahead and force any passes. We're just going to run the ball straight up and see if our line can punch it in. If, we, if they can't, that's fine. Never mind. We got a touchdown. I might say I was not going to do anything dumb like I did previously where I threw that interception. I'm just going to go ahead and you know let the line have at it. If we can't get a touchdown, we can't get it. I'll just kick the field goal. But so far, man, Washington is killing Notre Dame. Quarterback only threw one interception, but it's really been our run game, and it's been our good, great decision-making that's been paying off. He's looking just like NCAA 08, but here's the thing, though. Notre Dame's actually making me work for, for this. You know, like, there's no bad pursuit angles, no nothing. I had to make great decisions, like, good decisions. I had to constantly fold these defenders. Because with the original Washington playbook, I really could not fold them at all because they, were, they had no play action. Only the plays that they had were under center, and those are actually risky. Uh, being under center doing play action because they take a long time to develop. 
And these are plays that are done in the NCAA. And there were plays that were done in NCAA back then. There are plays that are still done now. Ain't you do anything you can to fool defender? <gasps> I was about to say if he caught that. Excellent play on defense. That's pretty much the best way to make sure the receiver doesn't catch it. He just put his. My gosh, that would have been crazy if he caught that. 15 to 24 for 84 yards. The quarterback's been efficient, but his yards ain't showing. So we've been doing good holding him in check. Throughout this uh, first half, we're making them throw short. That's the thing. And plus, we get the ball back, I believe. I think they kicked. I think. So we should get the ball back. So we have an opportunity to put up more points in the second half because we're not going to do it right now. And no, I'm not calling a timeout. I have no reason to. I'm, I'm not going to be greedy here. Notre Dame needs this more than I do. Ratliff gets the goal. And they make the stop at the 29 yard line. Washington will take their first time out of the half. I, in fact, if anything, I haven't felt the need to call a timeout throughout this whole half until now. Just because I want the ball back and see what I can do with the final play. I want to see if I can make a big play on the final final play. He gets it away. Oh, we might actually need to make a big play here. Brian fields it at the 30. Oh, just barely. We got one second left to make it work. All right. We're not going to – we're clearly not going to do anything, but I want to see if this can be a caught ball. I want to see. I want to see if we can catch this. Ah, oh, no, no incomplete. After one half of play, this one is not even close. Yep, 35 to 3. We are killing them right now. And I hope to keep this up. He kicks it off. Means takes it from the six. Oh, what a block. I'm curious, Choco, what other game types they have in Mario Kart that I need to be aware of in case if I ever want to bring any friends over and we could just play from there. It's first and ten. Ball on the 27. Yard line. First and ten. The Huskies come out in a shotgun. Oh, that was a terrible play. Brings him down for a loss. Woo -hoo, that was a bad play. A hold of him there. And when that kid gets a hold of you, then you usually go down. And you're not going to break many tackles when this guy. I'm gonna give Hall a shot. Usually I would not give him a shot because from what I've known, he He's this dude drops right. the ball a lot. I'm gonna try to go out some. They were kind of killing me there. And they, got it. they were kind of killing me there because I wanted them to go out and they didn't do it. I was looking at L1 or Triangle. Triangle stood in his place. I mean, that's all well and good, but not what I wanted him to do. Trips right. Hitman drops to throw. He looks. He delivers. Terrible throw. It falls incomplete, so they go three and out. After it would have been a, a good pass. It would have been a definitely good pass to Tyson, though. Here comes the I'm going to say that. To boot this one away. But the quarterback got nervous. He got rattled. Google, the return man. He gets it off. McDougal signals for a fair catch. And now a slight break in the But I'm okay with it. I mean, we're up 35-3. They'll go to work at the 41. If I had to point out with what happened, it was that one play call that got us on first down. Should have been picked off. That really should have been picked off. That would have been a tough catch. Well, when you're going to school for free to play football, they expect you to catch those curveballs. Now, I know the defender got in there to break it up, but there are just no excuses for that. You touch it, you catch it. That always has been the rule. Let's see. Parker steps back to pass, steps up, throws it. Damn, good throw. I was hoping to trick him. I was one. I wanted to use my linebacker, but uh, for a blitz, but I wanted to delay it a little bit. I don't think I could delay it with him. Man, that was a late jump indeed. And he's hit immediately. That's a gain of eight. Makes the catch. 
Gain of eight on the play. They line up at the second 38. Two. It's Ball second and two. Some line. adjustments being made there on defense. He throws it. It's complete. Oh, and good, good first down. down. At the 34. So they complete that for about four yards, and they'll pick up a first down. I think the defense was expecting a run on that play, and it allowed the offense to throw for just enough yards to get the first down. Notre Dame comes out with an eye formation. Parker on first down. He passes it. <laughs> nice. I don't know why he did that. See, I'm happy the computer doesn't really do this. They don't really test your uh they don't really test your dbs like that as much as they should i can understand why they don't though because i mean fuck if you see the most open option early on you need to take it but at some point you gotta you know take that risk especially in the situation you're in you have to take that risk with four receivers Shit, I don't know why I did that. I swapped off. Nope, get that out of here. No touchdown. <laughs> Oop, I didn't mean to do that. I went for field goal kick. And they're ready to punt this one away. Seagull is waiting for the snap. Oh, this is not good. What car are Tyler's gloves were using? I was using Roller. Because Roller what, did seem kind of this fun for me. Yeah, I was using Roller, and I was having a lot of fun with it. Good block by the fullback. He's hit and got away. He has some room. He gets hit out of bounds. At the 33-yard line, picked up big yards there, and he's going to have a first down. Yeah, nice job there. This guy does a good job in reading his blocks and accelerating through the holes. Here's a look at the offensive production statistics. Brought to you by Coke. Pittman changes the play at the line. Pittman drops back to pass. Survey Hobbs is field. open. It's complete. Sheds one tackler. They can't hang oh, up. no way. Down the sideline. Let's go, Hobbs. Quarterback throws it to a spot. You can tell that the quarterback and receiver have worked over Ooh, it. let's go. He may not impress you with style points, but that time he shows four touchdowns out of one interception. Right there. Frying up this defense. Three wide. Actually, I'm going to run on this one. I'm like that safety pulsating. There you go. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 37. Yard line. Washington comes to the line with three wide. Hitman back to pass. Looking. He passes it. And it's caught. Thank you. Right You're making it easy. Uh, the tires, the carts I was really using. Um, I know I was using the rollers for the tires. The gliders I was using just about, I think it was the standard glider. I'm not sure. The cart I was using, it was one of the buggy ones. That's what I was using, I think. You have to look back. There you go, Hall. Hang in there. That's what I remember using most of the time. Sometimes I was switching to the bike just to test it out and try it out, and I wasn't too thrilled with it. Yeah, they've done a good job of building some momentum here, and more importantly, they've kept this defense on the field. The Husky set up in the gun. I'm gonna run on this one. They they, they got three linemen here. And it was worth the touchdown. Using three linemen, of course I'm gonna get a good good push. He's a good back, Brad. That's why he's playing Division One football, and he's had this kind of success against almost everyone he's played against. Let's go. He dragged him for the end zone too. He wanted it that bad. They'll line up for the extra point here. He splits the uprights with the extra point. That score leads us to our Pontiac drive summary. Now, I think you told me the ones you were using. Which, I need to take a look and see for myself. Like I want to test out your build for myself to see how it, see how it is, just to see if if, if it would have been something that uh you know something that I can build 
similarly around. Like, I'm not going to take your whole build. I'm not going to do that. I don't want to do that to people. But what I would do is make something that will be similar around it. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. Here's the offensive production statistics. Mark or even see some other carts or see some other racers use some stuff. See if it's something that I might like. Drops back to pass. Oh, wow. Was the intended receiver on that pass. That'll bring up second down. To think this dude does not have an interception yet, and there were plenty of times where I felt like he should have had one. Before I went AFK from helping parents, I was Bowser, Yoshi bike, roller, wheels, paper air glider. Oh, wow. They're in the eye. Nope. Walker knocks it away. Whoo! He would have he would have thrown that for a big gain if I did not hit him the way that I did. Anytime you're out there on defense and the pass is within arm. But Luigi Bill is my main bill. Okay, I got you. Yeah, that's the bill you keep burning us on. <laughs> the Irish come out in a shotgun. Drops back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Looking. And he's hit as he throws. Oh, why did I? What a catch. I cannot believe that happened. To the 48. So what do you think of this receiver after that play? Quarterback made it. Ah, I moved off of him by accident. That's a great way to make a statement. Yep, I think I would start to double cover this kid. He's just too dangerous. From the 48-yard line, it's first down. The Fighting Irish line up with Trips right. Gives it off. They'll bring him down at the 45. Ratliff gets three yards on the play. Sorry about that. I don't know why my um, controller keeps messing up like this. Second down, seven yards to go. Ball on the 45-yard line. The Irish go with the I formation. Nice stop. Great job by the They're doing a pretty solid job stopping a run, though. I will definitely say that. Third They'll line seven. it up again on third down. The Fighting Irish line up with a single set backfield. Parker back to throw. Steps up in the pocket. Let's it fly. Nope. That's incomplete. incomplete. There was not a soul open there. He threw into double coverage because it was an obvious passing down, and the defense knew the pass was coming. I love swatting this ball down anytime they go deep. It's the first thing I'm going to do. Seagull awaits the snap. He punts it away. It's a high kick. Brian calls for the fair catch. I don't mind starting at the 10. They really had good success passing the ball. If you ask me, I'd air it out some more. I agree. Make them show you that they can stop. Look at him. Single high safety. I love it. I should do play action from here. In fact, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to do play action from here. They're doing single high safety, and I'm going to send my main guy deep. Oh! receiver didn't have a chance on that one. And the only reason why he didn't have that chance because I saw that defensive tackle looking to hit my quarterback. The only reason why I didn't do it. Ace backfield, Hitler hands it off, and down he goes at the 16-yard line. A seven-yard run by the running back. They line up at the I'm gonna take a good look at that Luigi build. It's, yeah, that do it kind of do it very interesting with how you do it. Washington lines up with three receivers. That's a first down. That's a first down. And they push him out at the 35-yard line. And they convert on third down. Let me tell you, anytime you run the option, it really. I don't know why the linebackers did not come in to hit my quarterback. They didn't even bother to chase him. They just simply gave up. Hitman is back in the gun. Hitman drops to throw. He steps up. It's in oh, come on, Hobbs. Oh. Lost the ball. Oh. And I don't think they'll be picking Hobbs. That was his second interception. Was good. If there were any doubts coming into this game whether or not this guy could defend those receivers. He's pretty much answered. Damn, I was doing so good, too. Parker with three wide receivers. Takes the give. Juke moves. Hill tackles him behind the tight end is just, just looking at the ball go by him. Second Killing me, bro. Killing me. Granted, the quarterback threw it behind him, but I'm like, damn, bro, help me out. 
the Fighting Irish. Line up with four wideouts. You deserve to fumble the ball, Parker. What you doing? I don't know why y'all got a pocket passing quarterback running quarterback draws. It's like, what is wrong with you? Use your running back. Lines up in the deep back. Eye formation. Parker drops the throw. Looks. Flips it. Got it to the senior. They're going to go for it. Oh, no, they're not. I'm thinking they're going to go for it. It's the third quarter. They should go for it. They should go for it in the fourth. Yes, they will. And now, if I called that timeout before the quarter ended, they definitely would have done that. Never mind, it doesn't even matter. Oh my god. What is this? That is ball game. We completely smoked Notre Dame on this one. No matter if I throw another interception or not. Which I'm not going to do. Walden tackles him at the 38. He kept it himself and picked up a good looking first down. Another reason We're just going to sit here and, and do this. We're just going to run the ball. He cuts up the field and keeps the do ball. Do option so plays, PA reads, whatever. There by the the Jesus, that was a bad, bad play call. Play. This is what you call a run blitz. He is quickly penetrating. Very bad play call, considering what just happened. Here the defense does a good job and comes up with a nice stop. Oh, he did have him open. He doesn't matter. There's a very impressive open field tackle. Look at the linebackers bid on that play fake. I didn't even know the quarterback had the ball. That's worth a yo. He's changing things up. Steps up in the pocket. Let's it go. It. Got this man wide open. Of course, I'm gonna pass it to the running back. What is the linebacker doing all the way on the right side? You put yourself out of position. Third first down on this drive alone, coach. Yeah, I'm gonna keep doing no huddle. There's no reason I should stop. This defense really needs to step up and get some of it back. He unloads it. Complete. Brown with a takedown at the 34. Three yards there on the play. I'm okay with that. The running back is getting kind of tired. I'm just going to sub in the, the second running back. Second, second and seven. seven. Ball on the 34. Because, you know, why not? Hitman comes to the line with three wide. Rolling out to the right side. Surveys the field. And now he's going to improvise. He's gone, bro. <laughs> I took full advantage of the same play three, four times. Yeah, this yeah, this game is over. 95 is not catching number four. Mr. Throwback, what is up, bro? Welcome. You're just coming in into the tail end of this uh, of this game. We have completely blown out Notre Dame, 49 to three. 49 to three. So how you been, my man? What's up with you? Yep. How you been, bro? We beat Notre Dame in convincing fashion. Next, we have another tough matchup on our hands. Here's the kick. Done my streaming for now. What were you streaming? Guys, definitely go check out Mr. Throwback when you guys have time. Dude, dude, is, a, dude is phenomenal. Be playing all these retro games and chilling out and stuff. So I really think you guys will enjoy his content. Definitely, definitely go, go, go give that man a follow. Twisted Metal, okay. You was playing Twisted Metal, you was playing Smash. Oh, Choco, uh, looks like we got another person that plays Mario Kart. We're still here. Mr. Throwback does play some Mario Kart from here and there whenever he has time. Second down. But Twisted Metal, man, I definitely need to take a look at that again at some point like I remember playing as a kid but I don't don't know how everything went with with the game it's just complete mayhem anytime I saw it got it to the senior that was a good completion there yeah I really liked the good clean routes they ran on that play 
Yeah, that's definitely one game I'm a Definitely can't wait to get back into into uh Smash Ultimate the following week. Yeah, what I said was that Mr. Throwback is another streamer that he plays Mario Kart. So if you're ever looking for some more Mario Kart streamers, you got one right there. First and ten. He plays. He, yeah, he definitely plays some uh some party racing games. Twisted Metal is definitely one of those games. Twisted Metal, then Mario Kart. I don't know if he plays Crash Team Racing. Parker to the air on first down. Parker passes. Miss tackle. And good first go down. At the 49. How about that play? Well, it was a good pass, a good catch, and they are keeping the defense off balance by throwing on first down. Absolutely right. right. It's first and ten. I should put in the second oh, stringers too. This this is pretty much over. So can I do this? Yeah, sub in the second team. See now, how is it you can do this in NCAA, but you can't do this in Madden? You can't put do a mass sub. That's kind of dumb. They don't do it automatically, like in preseason, but they don't do it like elsewhere, which is kind of dumb. I got my ass with for playing Renegade Roundup. Oh, uh, Chugga, you was just talking about that R Renegade Roundup. We've got second and nine here. Ball on the ball on the I only won one and the rest I lost. Oof, rip. They're lining up in the 5 2. Parker drops back to pass. He sails it long. Incomplete. Nope, incomplete. That would have been a tough catch for the wide receiver. The intended receiver on the play. Gonna give these guys some experience. No, it was fun being a loser. You see, now that's what I'm liking about having to do these Mario Kart games, is as of late for me. I've just been enjoying the game, whether I win or lose. I mean, I've come in third place most of the time, but I'm not sweating it all that much. He's looking. He's looking for his man. His receiver has it. He looked like he threw that one about as hard as Renegade Roundup, really fun. Yeah, it really is. I don't know if you can see uh, Choco's comments, Mr. Throwback, but Choco's comments is on the YouTube end. I know. I, I will understand if the YouTube comments are a bit small. Cause I'm, I can't wait for uh, Glimmers to be supported by Restream. Then that way everybody can be able to see each other's comments. Cause while I like this little chat thing I have up here, it's not exactly helping. You know what I mean? It's way too small for its own good. <laughs> yeah, you guys are covered. Oh, what a touchdown. I should have just let the computer handle it. Yeah, as soon as I made a chat made a chat doc to my OBS, I can see the chat and it all screws. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Nice yeah, yeah, like man, man. Like I said, I really can't wait. I really can't wait for uh, OBS to be supported. I'm not OBS. I can't wait for Restream to be supported. I'm sorry. Yeah, I need Restream to support Glimish like in about a couple months, please. Here's the onside. That'll be enough to put this one away. Yep, that'll be more than enough. Got a whole second team in here, field position to start and drive. hopefully we'll be done with it. Washington goes with the ace set here. Hands him to the back. Tackle at the 35-yard line. Oliver comes away with two yards on the carry. We're just going to run the ball out as much as we can, take as much time off the clock. I don't think it's a good idea for me to do an option with this dude. Oh well. Washington comes to the line with three wide. We're gonna run the ball around five seconds left. There you go. Five seconds right there. Oof, yeah, this is yeah. Yeah, I'll make sure to never do that. I will never do option with this dude. It's not as easy as it looks. Never, 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 never. It's a bad idea. Guys, definitely stay tuned. Ooh, what a block. 
Stay tuned. I'm definitely going to. Uh, I should have actually trucked him. Uh, stay tuned. I'm definitely going to actually adjust my schedule on the fly. Like literally, the minute I'm done with this game, I'm gonna show you guys what games I got in mind that I plan on doing for what day. So then that way you guys can uh, get a good idea of what I'm gonna be doing the following week. First down. He got it. He got it. Miller. There you go. My God, he barely got it. Well, it was close, but they got the first down. Yeah, but it's a game of inches, guys. A game of inches. Yeah, definitely a game of inches, and he barely got that first down. All right, a minute and 25 left. That means within our next play or two, we should be able to run the clock out with no problem. The Huskies. Line up in a goal line formation. We're toned it down to three seconds right now. Okay, three seconds. And they'll run him again. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. <laughs> and he got the first down. Big, big first down. You notice, though, this crowd is silent. That defense starts to creep up a little bit. I wonder why. Over the top. But yeah, this running back, though, we're definitely going to work on him in the offseason because he needs some more speed. I know he can break tackles. That's not a problem. That's definitely not a problem. The fact that he can break tackles is, is great. And we take a quick look at the stats from within the red zone, brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone, when performance matters most. So their last red zone visit resulted in a touchdown. All right, Let's that is entirely it. We can now take two knees, and we are done with this ball game. I will go ahead and show you guys the stats of how good we did. Pittman definitely did good. That was our quarterback, 16-24, 345 yards in total. That includes passing and rushing. And I think he had like five touchdowns, five or six touchdowns in total. I think he rushed for a touchdown. He threw for four, though. All right, that is it. We can now check the stats of the game. And this blowout 49 to 10. Final and they only scored game, one touchdown that was late, obviously magnitude. late into Notre this game. Is probably gonna say this Not game bad. Is a fluke, and that there's no when it goes to a team that was rooted like against. Whatever you like, but the fact remains, they just got their butts completely silenced the crowd. Us for another presentation of NCAA Football 2007. And our final score in this one, Washington 49, Notre Dame 10. Yup, look at all those points. Six points, nine points, 12 points, 15 points. We did a pretty damn good job against the Notre Dame Fighting Irish at their own home turf. And this won't be the only game that we'll be going up against their home turf, home turf for. Texas defeats uh, North Texas. I'm not surprised. 42 to, to 28. USC beating Arkansas 36 to 19. I really love the little ticker at the bottom, too. It really, it really is a nice little touch where you can look at all the stats of all the other games for that time period, you know, while yours was going on. So, yeah, let's take a look at this. Uh, Jordan Parker did not exactly do all that well. I mean, yeah, he went for 224 yards, but he only scored one touchdown. He was pretty much locked down throughout the whole first half. He didn't start getting it going until, like, the fourth quarter. Pittman, on the other hand, did phenomenal. 16 of 24, 345 yards, four touchdowns, two interceptions. He rushed for a touchdown. He rushed for two I'm sorry, he rushed for a touchdown, so that brought him up to five touchdowns. Thomas Davis did well with two touchdowns and 104 yards. Uh, Terrell Tyson did very good. Five catches, 172 yards, and two touchdowns. Our defense did pretty good. I don't think there's much for me to look at from there. We just know they did a lot of tackles. They did get a couple sacks. Like, what is it, two sacks? Let's see. They did they did get some tackles. A lot of tackles here. I know they got some sacks. Okay, one sack. That was it. Just one sack. They just they what they really did. They just put up a lot of pressure. Notre Dame definitely did get some sacks off though. So let's not let's not dismiss that. They definitely got one sack here. I know they got another one. Oh, they didn't get another sack. But the same guy uh, Woodard got two interceptions off the same quarterback, so not bad. Um, let's take a look at our next game, and we'll find out and see 
when are we going to be doing our next game? Because I know next week is going to be very different. We're not going to be doing uh, NCAA next week, and I'm going to explain why. No memory card can be found. What the fuck? I'm going to say, don't do that to me. So as you guys can see, next week is going to be very interesting. Every tough team we go up against this year, we get almost all of them on the road. The only ones we don't get on the road is Arizona State. Jesus. So we're going to be up against Oklahoma the next week. Once, let's actually uh, simulate the rest of this week and see what we're going to be looking forward to. Damn, Miami versus Florida State. Y'all see that? 65 to 17. They got blown out completely. So, okay, looks like we got ourselves another 4 4.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time game. So, we're going to be going up against number 7th ranked Oklahoma at 4.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It will not be next week. I repeat, it will not be next week. I'm going to explain why. It will be the week after. It will be in two weeks. So, that'll be very, very interesting. Uh, with us going up against that team. Let's actually go ahead and save here. I'm going to wait for all this stuff to load up. And then after that, I will actually turn off the game. Alright. So, now it's time for me to go ahead and adjust the uh, schedule. I'm going to explain why uh, we're not going to have it next week, uh, next Sunday. So next Sunday at this time, what I plan on doing is I plan on having to do a mock draft. So if you guys are into football, we will be doing a NFL mock draft and see what we're going to do from there. Uh, I'm going to have a good friend involved. I'm going to have my main man, Doug Bowles come in uh, if you guys don't know who he is he has his own channel on YouTube it's called SLS Studios so we definitely plan on doing something like this we've been wanting to do an NFL draft for quite a while let me actually adjust that for a bit because that's way too big for its own good there you go so that is the big news right there next week we'll be doing an NFL mock draft that's one thing we're going to be doing. Now, the time will be to be decided. I'm going to actually adjust that to to be decided time. I think for I think 1 p.m. might actually be a time we, we might do, so I'm going to leave it on there just in case. Uh, Next Monday, of course, this Monday, I'm sorry. This Monday, we're not going to be doing the Warriors because we just finished the Warriors. If you guys have not seen the Warriors walk through, you can take a look at it. Look at all of it on YouTube, and that game is is very very fun and I cannot wait to get into it again next time uh so about what we're gonna be playing on Monday but we're gonna be playing on Monday I know Choco is gonna enjoy along with me I see it coming already this is what we're gonna be doing next Monday uh, uh this Monday we're gonna be doing Splatoon 2 it has been a long time since I have touched Splatoon 2 so I cannot wait to hop on that game and see what's been missing what I've missed what's been going on with, uh, in a life of uh, the Inklings so we're definitely going to be enjoying some uh, Salmon runs if Salmon runs come out on Monday if not then I don't mind having to do some multiplayer from there and have some fun with that we are going to continue on with uh, uh, Halo 2 because of course you know as our sub bet that I'm promising on Twitch that I promised to do on Twitch even though I'm doing it over here on Glimish we are going to continue doing Halo 2 on Legendary we're going to continue on where we last left off with the game so we got ourselves the NFL Mott Draft and we got ourselves uh, Splatoon 2 now Need for Speed Hot Pursuit Remastered I'm still going to do, but this might be the last week for it because I am looking at other games to do on a Friday. I don't know what, I don't know what games in particular, but I know there is some that I got in mind that I want to do. 
So Need for Speed Hopper Suit Remastered. This will be my last one, Ace, because usually I don't do 130. I'm only doing 130 because of the fact that uh, where Ace of Speeds live at, he lives up in Romania. So it's pretty difficult for him to be able to tune in the streams at 430. And of course, last but not least, as promised, we got to do Smash Night again. Smash Night will be coming back. Of course, for this night, I cannot wait to, you know, go back and, you know, see what see what else is going to be going down. In the world of Smash Bros, we know we got Mira and Pithra, uh, uh, I'm sorry, we got Pira and Mithra out. Why the hell do I keep fucking up their names? We got Pira, Pira and Mithra out, so we're still going to continue on and, you know, see what's up with those characters. On top of that, we're going to have our own nice casual fun. So, that's our schedule. NFL Mock Draft, Splatoon 2, another movie night. Uh, This movie night, we're going to be doing the Transformers movie. So, Tuesday at 8.30, if you guys are not in the Discord, definitely check it out. We're going to be, we're really going to be having some fun. Yeah, Pyra, yeah, like, yeah, like Paragonic Fire. Yeah, so, yeah, movie night for that at 8.30, we're going to be doing the old Transformers movie that was requested. And then after that, the week after, we're going to be doing uh, Raya and the Last Dragon, which was very good. Uh, Halo 2 on Legendary. Wednesday night is, of course, Wrestling Night. We're going to continue on doing our WrestleMania matches. And, of course, Need for Speed and Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. So, till then, let's take a look at who's online, shall we? Now, as I did last time, I raided Mr. Throwback, who's here. This time, I plan on having to check out some other streamers. Let's see who is actually streaming on our end right now. Who's streaming? Who's streaming? Who's streaming? Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, I'm not seeing anything too interesting over here. Mm, let's see if I can look for something cool. You know what I mean? I think I may have found something already. If you guys are into some Dark Souls, I may have gotten some Dark Souls content for you. Because it doesn't look like anything else that I can really find that will be all that interesting. Oh, it's either Dark Souls or it's Attack on Titan. That'll be interesting. You know what? You know what? Yeah, let's take a look at this Attack on Titan. Let's do that. We're going to be checking out a streamer called HK Fresh uh, uh HK Fresh Hickey Fresh Hickey that's his name he's on Glimish right now playing Attack on Titan 2 he's a pretty he, he's, he, he, he looks to be a pretty cool dude so we're gonna check out this dude till then guys every second every minute and every hour you gotta spend with me is every second every minute and every hour I am blessed and grateful for we're gonna be going over and rating him Till then, uh, check out the Discord. Check out the merchandise. Check out everything from there. Uh, you can follow me anywhere. You guys want to follow me either on twi Twitter or on Discord. If you guys want to speak with me from there. Till then, you guys have yourselves a good day. Let's go say hi to Attack on Titan, dude.